Hello and welcome to Math Zone African Motives. Today, we're going to solve question one from a past paper covering two essential calculus topics, limits and continuity. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to solve limits using L'Hopital's rule and identify discontinuities in rational functions. Let's start with our first objective, solving limits using L'Hopital's rule. Here's the first question we'll tackle. We need to determine the limit of tan x minus x, all divided by x minus sin x, as x approaches zero. The first step is always to try direct substitution. Let's plug in x equals zero into the expression. Substituting zero gives us tan of zero minus zero, divided by zero minus sin of zero. Tan of zero is zero, and sin of zero is also zero. So we end up with the indeterminate form zero over zero. This form, zero duo zero, is a cue that we can use L'Hopital's rule to solve the limit. L'Hopital's rule allows us to take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator separately. Let me write the rule for you. If you have the limit of fx over gx as x approaches c, and it gives the form zero, zero, or infinity over infinity, you can replace it with the limit of the derivative of f's over the derivative of g's. Let's apply this to our problem. We'll find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. The numerator is fx equals tan x minus x. The derivative of tan x is secant squared x, and the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So the derivative f prime of x is secant squared x minus 1. The denominator is gi x equals x minus sin yinyar x. The derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of negative sin x is negative cos x. So the derivative g prime of x is 1 minus cos x. Now let's substitute these derivatives back into our limit. The new limit is the limit as x approaches i to zero of secant squared x minus 1, all divided by 1 minus qos x. Let's test this limit with direct substitution again. Secant of 0 is 1, so we have 1 squared minus 1, which is 0. Cosine of 0 is also 1, so we have 1 minus 1, which is 0. We're back to an indeterminate form, 0 plus 0. Since we still have 0 is 0, we can apply L'Hopital's rule a second time. Let's find the derivatives of our new numerator and denominator. For the new numerator, we need the derivative of secant squared x minus 1. This requires the chain rule. The derivative of u squared is 2u u prime. Here, u is secant x, so u prime is secant x tan x. This gives us 2 secant squared x tan x. The derivative of 1 is 0. So our new numerator derivative is 2 secant squared x tan x. For the new denominator, we need the derivative of 1 minus kios x. The derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of negative cos x is positive sin x. So our new denominator derivative is sin x. Now let's put it all together for our third limit. The limit is now as x approaches 0 of 2 secant squared x tan x divided by sin x. Notice that tan x is the same as sin x over cos x. Let's make that substitution. This is a common algebraic step to simplify trigonometric limits. By replacing tan x with sin x over cos x, we can now see a common factor of sin x in both the numerator and the denominator, which we can cancel out. After canceling sin x, our expression simplifies to 2 secant squared x, all divided by cos x. Since secant is the reciprocal of cosine, this is the same as 2 over cosine squared x divided by cos x, which equals 2 over cosine cubed x. Now for the moment of truth. Let's substitute x equals 0 one more time. We have 2 divided by qs of 0 cubed. We know cos of 0 is 1, so we get 2 divided by 1 cubed, which is 2 divided by 1. And our final answer is 2. We have successfully used L'Hopital's rule twice to find the limit. Let's check our work against the provided memo. Comparing our answer with the memo, we see that the final result is indeed 2. Verified using the memo. Great job! We have met our first learning objective. Now let's move on to the second part of the question. Our objective here is to determine where a given function is discontinuous. 
The question asks us to find the value or values of x for which the function f as x equals 3 over e to the power of x squared minus e to the power of x is discontinuous. Let's first understand what discontinuity means. A function is discontinuous at a point if its graph has a break there. For rational functions like this, breaks occur when the denominator is zero. So, to find where fx is discontinuous, we need to find the values of x that make the denominator equal to zero. Remember, you can't divide by zero, so the function is undefined at these points. Let's set our denominator to zero and solve for x. We need to solve the equation e to the power of x squared minus e to the power of x equals zero. The first step is to add e to the power of x to both sides. This gives us the exponential equation e to the power of x squared equals e to the power of x. A key property of exponential functions is that if their bases are equal, their exponents must also be equal. Since both sides have a base of e, we can equate the exponents. This gives us a much simpler equation. x squared equals x. This is a quadratic equation. To solve this quadratic, the best method is to bring all terms to one side and factor. Subtracting x from both sides gives x squared minus x equals zero. We can see a common factor of x, so we factor it out. This leaves us with x times the quantity x minus one, all equal to zero. For the product of two factors to be zero, at least one of the factors must be zero. This gives us two possibilities. First, the factor x can be zero. This gives us our first solution, x equals zero. Second, the factor x minus one can be zero. Adding one to both sides gives us our second solution, x equals one. These two values, x equals zero and x equals one, are the points where the function fx is discontinuous because they make the denominator zero. Let's compare our result with the memo. The memo also states that the function is discontinuous at x equals zero and x equals one. Verified using the memo. We have now met our second learning objective. Let's quickly recap what we've accomplished in this tutorial. We successfully solved a complex limit problem. We started with a zero dua juro indeterminate form, and by carefully applying L'Hopital's rule twice, along with some algebraic simplification, we found the limit to be two. We demonstrated a powerful technique for handling these types of limits. Next, we tackled a continuity problem. We identified that the function fx equals three divided by e to the x squared minus e to the x was discontinuous whenever its denominator was zero. By solving the resulting exponential equation, we found these critical points to be x equals zero and x equals one. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You are now equipped to handle limits using L'Hopital's rule and to find discontinuities in rational functions. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials from MathZone African Motives.